architectural buildings as well. So it will be a great foundational workshop for everyone today. And in this workshop will be about 90 minutes. Jian will guide us through the her, uh, her innovative approach, particularly focusing on how bigraphy can be integrated into educational practices. So this will be also beneficial for those who are uh, willing to take part in bigraphy design award and their education category. So if you are an educator or a designer or simply curious about how these new teaching methodologies are, uh, you know, I mean, are implemented in these uh, educational curriculum. So this workshop is a fantastic opportunity to explore how bigraphy can enhance learning experiences. And uh, we would love to see the participation in bigraphy design award and the education category. You'll find inspiration on how these principles can be applied to your own submission in this educational category. So I'd like to dive deeper into this workshop, explore the possibilities together. And uh, Lernik is also here. So I'll give the floor to Lernik to basically say a few words, introduce uh, June, and mm -hmm. uh, how we got her on board. And then we can begin with the workshop as well. So mm -hmm. Lernik, to you. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Abhishek, for the introductory mm -hmm. words. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm, my name is Lernik. I'm co-founder of Bigraphy. Uh, mm -hmm. Ji Yoon volunteered to do this workshop. <laughs> so she's a um, teacher of mathematics who came across Bigraphy already, I don't know, like a year ago, I guess. <laughs> uh, and she is actively using Bigraphy to mm -hmm. teach kids in Korea uh, mathematics. And she's also writing a book on mm -hmm. using computational design uh, and particularly Bigraphy in mm -hmm. teaching mathematics but computational yeah. design is very difficult teachers of mathematics are not uh, normally are not used to it never used it uh, so it mm -hmm. may be a bit challenging i think today's workshop uh will be very easy for computational mm -hmm. designers but at the yeah. same time it may be difficult for those who never used computational design so it most it will be mostly useful for teachers of mathematics who want mm -hmm. to enhance their skills uh and students who are studying mathematics who, who want to enhance their skills by using computational mm -hmm. design tool in, in their mm -hmm. in their mathematics for visualizing math and maybe finding answers solutions to difficult mm -hmm. mathematics uh, problems in mathematics. Uh, Jiyun, I hope uh, everything mm. I said is correct, but if there is oh. anything. <laughs> I, okay, good. Um, so I will be handing over the floor to Jiyun in a second. Mm. Uh, there yeah. are a few things I thought probably would be, I don't know, if Jiyun, will you be telling uh, everyone about yourself or do you want me? To, to do an intro for you. Like I can share some information I know about you, but okay. Uh, sh shall I do it or you will you be, you will do you have it in your presentation? Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I will uh, introduce myself okay. in my okay. uh, minute after. Okay, Th then I'm giving the floor to Jiyun, everyone, yeah. you are free to put your questions in the chat box. Mm -hmm. And maybe or probably we will put some questions or polls during the, the, the presentation uh, by Jiyun. Yeah. Jiyun, yeah. the floor is yours. OK, thank you. Uh, can I start now? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Oh, uh, first I will share my screen. Everybody's okay. My 
screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Uh, it's black screen now for me. Oh, yes. A, a second ago. Uh, OK, I can see it. OK. Oh, nah. I'm a little bit nervous, but I will start. Oh, uh, thank you for participating in the, this workshop. Um, actually, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm, as, as you know, I'm Korean and English is not widely spoken in Korea. So please understand my English isn't perfect. And, but uh, you can't really ask any questions because uh, Larry will help me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, June, June, don't, don't worry. I'm pretty sure you can do well. In case yeah. uh, there will be something I don't understand, I will <laughs> interrupt you and, and tell you that, June, I didn't understand this part. And everybody mm -hmm. else, I welcome you to freely mm -hmm. mention that if something is not clear, uh, leave oh. a note in the chat box so that we know yeah. what's unclear and june knows so maybe we can clarify mm -hmm. and all we'll help june make yeah. this presentation okay um, but i'm confident that after today's workshop uh, i think your thoughts and approach about computational design tools and math education might be changed i'm sure so at first let me briefly introduce myself my name is jiyun ko and as you know i'm a math teacher and i'm also researching ways to incorporate design into my lesson because design tools are very powerful visualization tools and i'm applying them to my classes and uh, i think bigraphy is the best design tool i've ever encountered so every day i think to my to bigraphy <laughs> um, that's very strong <laughs> Uh, Bigraphy for students, uh, there's no need to download and no need to install. And I think it's very, it's highly accessible for students to use. It means easy to use. So it's good for students to use as a um, visualization tool in, a, in their study. And it also has a broader uh, range of applications compared to other tools and the mass visualization. You might be know the GeoGebra or you know the Desmos. They are just a uh, visualization tools for math education, but they get just to give uh, acute information about graph or area, but that's it. But with BigRapi, we can do some more like this. Now you are watching my slide. This is a dragon curve. I made a dragon curve with BigRapi like this, and then I print this uh, dragon curve with my 3D printer. And the dragon curve came to be a desk lamp. Big Rap came this kind of things. So I think with a Big Rap, um, we can solve real world problem. <laughs> OK, now. So today, I'm planning to conduct the workshop with four main topics, but I think I can only uh, give you just three topics. 
because we have no time. <laughs> First, I'd like to share my experience with BGRAP in my classes. Uh, my teaching approach might slightly different with the traditional idea of a good lesson, but I believe that this method will be the most important trend in math education in the future, <laughs> I'm sure. And I prepared a practical exercise for with the grappy uh, from a math education perspective. It's uh, they are intersection of two cylinders and building a hypercube and designing a theory with parametric design and parametric equation like this. Uh, uh, okay. Kira, uh, yeah. Can you, yeah. Can you show the keyring again? I, I couldn't. It was too quick. Can you yeah. bring it closer to the camera? Yes. Every Is there any my student there? has Yes, it's a kind of geometry. It's a toy, a kind of toy. So it's rolling inside? Yes, it, it says mess designer. Can you bring closer to the camera? Here, but you can, oh. you can't, it's hard to read mess okay, designer. Okay, you can't read the mess designer. You could like yeah. it. But then I just realized you have lots of, like, um, I don't know, it's not a cylinder, like a cut sphere. In, in. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh. Uh, and next, I'm a math teacher and I also major in industrial design. So I'm working to apply my design skill in math education, which is why I currently use the title. to Mass Oh, actually, my I have two daughters. My daughters, oh, they made this oh name, Mass Designer. I love this title. Oh, can you see you this kids? Oh, uh, they are fourteen and okay. twelve years old. Okay, I, I thought they were younger, so. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Um, oh. Would you see this uh, question? It's a Korean math question. Uh, for 10th grade of a high school. But I think it's not a hard question. The But students have uh, trouble with uh, understand what the question means, what the question asks, because they don't understand what the question. Um, this uh, question wants to figure out the uh, area of hexagon because the two triangles are moving along the x axis and y axis. So they make a common area, but the figure of the area is changing. When the hexagon comes out, can you imagine how the hexagon is formed? Um, to help students better understand this challenging math problem, I create dynamic and interactive materials using the graphy. So I'd like to uh, share this file with you. Uh, I can share the link. Uh, uh, no, that link. Uh, a moment, please. Oh, okay. Mm, the graphy. Uh, June, we, we, I can see. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a big graphy and a workspace. 
Oh, I made this question to be grumpy with like this. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. So. And, and be grumpy also have a has a fantastic function. I think that's a configurator. Oh. So if you uh, click the yellow button, upper right upper click, and you can find a configurator. So I will click this configurator and show you what it comes out like this. Some students, many students can't understand why the hexagon. <laughs> why hexagon? How the hexagon? But if you move the, this slider, you can find the hexagon. So it's a very helpful for students can, uh, students understanding uh, the question. But it's, so, right now it shows a... Uh... Rectangle. Mm -hmm. and Rectangle, and yes. But yeah. change it. it yeah, can when change. you change parameters, I can see that sometimes it becomes a hexagon. Like this is already a hexagon, right? Yes. Although one, two, when three, you four, said five, hexagon, three. or when I read mm -hmm. hexagon, I actually mm -hmm. thought about the hexagon that has all the sides mm -hmm. equal. Ah, really? Oh. Yeah, I didn't think of a hexagon that can have different. Uh, size angles, uh, yes. different angles and different sizes. Not equally. It's just a hexagon. Okay. Now it's clear. Yeah. Uh, so let's back to yeah. Can you show the task again? Uh, so what? Test it. Uh, task of the problem, like what? So, this one. Yeah, this one. What do we need you to find? This, uh, Let you the find the answer. Ah, so, uh, so you, we need to find the, the T that will T, be, yeah. uh -huh. that, will, that will create a hexagon, not a rectangle. So that's yeah. the question. OK. Yeah. And let's back to my uh, slide. This is my class. They are studying math with Bigrapi. This is my classroom. There are two students of my students. They are studying math with Bigrapi like this, like this. Um, I think uh, many Korean students demonstrate very high achievement in mathematics, but oh, their schools of math, self efficacy and interest with which reflect their attitude toward math are very, very low. I mean, they are great in sports, but they don't love math. math. It's a <laughs> big problem in Korea. So I'm sad about that. So, so they, they, are, they don't like math, uh, despite the fact yes. that they know math really well? That's strange. Because math scores are a crucial factor for college admissions. So they need a score, not interest. So many students have uh, stressed um, from math. Okay. Okay, this is the high school. I and students are under so many students are under a lot of stress. But I'm researching various ways to help these these students achieve good scores without feeling stressed. 
for example, I have I teach about sixty-five students. But they are great in math. Uh, but and they love math. Also, they love math. So I'm research these kinds of various various methods to help these students. Um, now I'm researching various friendly and easy visualization methods that students can teach it and students and teachers can use without any burden without any burden and and i also <laughs> sometimes create toys for adhd students which is it's a very enjoyable task like this you can this one and clicker it's a clicker and this is my character i made by myself it's a character and toy like this or a puzzle cube like this one i love this kind of work so my my students don't know of in my class with these toys <laughs> they are studying math and clicker 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 so they have no time to know of like this yes, <laughs> yes clicker my students love my this my toys and i hope coming winter i'd like to have an exhibition about math toys for students this one um actually with uh active support of big and uh, my research has made significant progress so i always thank you big <laughs> always Thank you, Big Rappi. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank pleasure. you, Big Rappi. <laughs> and this is my story about um, math education and computational tools. Uh, what I want to convey to you, and the reason I'm sharing Korean math problem and photos to um, is to emphasize how useful computational design tools can be in math education and even if the problem seems unfamiliar like that the visualization created using big Rappi can help students easily understand and solve it so uh, i prepared how we can make this kind of uh, visualization data or tools with you then i prepared three kinds of examples the first one is intersection with two cylinders and the second one is a hypercube and third one is a curing making curing with equation mm. uh, do you know udr it's a universal design for learning uh, I'm implementing UDR in my classes. The greatest advantage of UDR is that acknowledges and addresses the individual learning barriers or challenges that students may face, allowing their flexible response. It's a highly, highly adaptable, highly adaptable teaching approach. I love this approach. So I made this uh, lesson plan, mm -hmm. and I this is a universal design uh, addressed in education, I think. So here's my lesson plan, and I will share it with all of you after the workshop. Um, oh, now I can share this. 
file with you. Um, I will share this file. And um, oh, I think the uh, screen is stopped. Can you see my uh? Can you see my lesson plan? Oh no. No, I I think something happened. The, the last, but, the last uh, thing it's okay, we, it's okay. we saw is that the part about ADHD students. Yes, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay because can you I maybe can... stop sharing and then start sharing mm -hmm. again? Maybe it will refresh. Uh, yes, but it's okay. You send me the link. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot the link. Can you s share again the the address of link? Uh, Abhishek, is that link oh. for Google Docs? Yes, it, Google Drive. Yes, I'm sharing. Like. Oh. Uh, I think you can share instead of me because you know the address. Yeah, okay. I'll share. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, I'd like to share my experience with Bigrapi with you. So first, let's have some practical exercise as a math teacher. <laughs> Um, I will share my screen. I'll be happy. Share. Okay. Oh, um, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a, are you, do you have a idea of uh, bigraphy? I hope most of you are um, familiar with bigraphy because <laughs> the exercise will be very easy. Uh, I will start. Uh, you can click the new model. I will, write down the cylinder intersection cylinder in section cylinders okay and create yeah, do you just yeah. let me interrupt yeah. you for a second mm -hmm. i can see that some people are familiar i mean i can recognize some names in uh, the, really <laughs> and uh there are some that i don't know uh so mm -hmm. in case uh, you are not familiar mm. with Bigraphy. You go to mm. the bigraphy.com web page and then mm. you log in using your Gmail. It's really quick. Mm. So you mm. get into the workspace. And this is where mm. Jiyun started from. So she, she mm. started from the workspace. And then from the workspace, create you can create a new model. By the way, mm. we are recording this, so we will be sharing this. So I don't know, you can either follow or mm -hmm. uh, you, I mean, follow and do the same, repeat after June, or you can just watch. And then after, if you want to repeat, you can use the video that we will share. Okay, okay thank June. you. Sorry thank for interrupting. Uh, we will make an intersection of two cylinders. So we need a cylinder. If you, uh, this is a workspace of Big Rapi. And we need some functional um, load blocks. So if you can find it with in the tool menu, but I will double click the screen and write down the keywords, cylinder, cylinder. Okay, you can find the first word, cylinder. Um, you need a uh, three 
elements, origin, radius, and height. So if you click this origin, you can see the point component. X component is zero, Y is zero, and zero, zero comma zero comma zero. And the radius will be 10. Mm, five feet five okay and the height of cylinder is you can see in the 3d presentation panel below the screen and height is 10 and it this is the first cylinder and we need a cylinder rotated rotated uh, 90 degree oh right angle with a right angle so uh i think we need a rotation rotation you can double click the screen and write down the keywords rotate you can see the rotate component node we call it node block third node block click and we will rotate this cylinder so you drag cylinder to geometry then you can uh rotate this cylinder and the angle is 1.571 it's a half pi radian it's a radian radian mm, it's okay it's a right angle and the center and the vector we will uh, rotate along the axis so the vector should be X component would be one, okay. And then the center we have Z component, also Z? one in the vector. Uh, but if I, um, no, no, the center the vector. should be the half size of height. So okay. we need, um, Zero components should be five. Oh, sorry. The vector. Oh, I see. Thank you. Then you can see the uh, intersection cylinder of two cylinders are intersected. And then mm, we need the intersection part, not two cylinders. So are we double click? No, I will find in the tool menu and in the solid of oh, boolean. Uh, you can find the this solid intersection. Click and we will find the two intersection intersection of two solid. So drag, drag, geometry to drag. And so if you can see the intersection part, but oh, it's hard to see. So I will turn off this cylinder and this cylinder. And you can see the intersection part. But we have another way. I will turn again and turn again. And mm, this is material, material. Uh, double click and write down the material. The third menu, apply material. Okay. I will apply material these two cylinders. And if you want to connect, uh, Two nodes in a one to one this geometry. You can click the shift 
and thread. More than two nodes are together joined. And the color, my, you can click the color and you can choose the color. I, I love yellow. So click yellow. And metallic well, pink is okay. It's okay. And the opposite is you can change to. 0 0.1 and then turn off this height turn up this cylinder to cylinder height if you click the um, right button with the three dots you can find uh, other extra menu about the node block so you can turn and hide these node blocks. And look at this. You can find uh, two cylinders uh, have an uh, intersection. And it's great. My students will love this. And the you, if you click this configurator button, you can see this uh, cylinder in the computer configurator uh, screen. Mm. Uh, by the way, uh, I'd like to do some more. Mm. I'd like to introduce you the range. So mm, I'd like to change the radius or and the height. You can change as your mind. So double click the screen and radius should be zero, bigger than zero and less than 10. Zero, 10. Then you can see the range input. Click. And if you click the arrow button, you can find the uh, range input to be minimum zero to maximum 10, and the step is one. I will change the distance to be 0 0.1. And then connect this number to radius. OK. Then you can change the radius of the two cylinders. And you can also change the nom name of this node block. I will change this range input to uh, radius. So double click, click, and uh, just click the name of range input and delete to radius. Great. I love this one. And I'd like to change the height. So, uh, comment, uh, comment C or Ctrl C and V. So you can copy the node block. And I will connect this node block to height. Then you can change the height. But height should be bigger than uh, radius, so maximum is 20. And I'll change the name of name, radius to height. Um, OK. Great. If you use these kinds of notebook, um, you can uh, manipulate in the configurator screen. So let's jump to configurate. Um, by the way, here okay. maybe. Oh, by the way. yes, uh, I, the the I, center I of rotation. Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> okay, we we are so. We have to change the center of 
to the half size of height. So I think we need another notable double click. Multiplication. Okay. This and half, then click the B to zero point five. Then you can we get the half size of height and the it should be the oh C component. So we need a point component. So double click point construct point and connect this uh, to C and it's, it means zero point and zero comma zero comma height half size of height point so it can be the center of the rotation oh great okay then let's jump to the configurator to click and configurator click and i will change my spiraling spring to okay here can you see in the configurator screen you can yes. rotate the output and zoom in zoom out and move you can do anything and you can change the height of the cylinder and you can change the radius of the cylinders and oh i like to something more so we went back to the workspace and turn, I will jump to the workspace again. Here. Okay. I wonder what's the volume of this intersection part. So I wonder what's the volume of this part in the session to cylinders so double click volume you can volume solid volume okay then connect this solid to this solid and you can find the volume there is two mm, kinds of methods you can find you figure out the for you click the debug panel if you connect this volume to object you can find this this is a volume this is volume but uh, if you use the text you can um you can express the this volume size to the screen. So uh, search the text. Text. Okay. But origin is okay. The gap size is too big. So one and but. The volume is number, but we need a string. How can we do this? You can double click and num. There is a number to string come node block. Okay number to string this node block change the number to string but 
you have another red one is bones there's a some red error the very is a required font so double click font and you can connect the font and okay select italic you can choose the font you want italic okay then can you see our can you see the volume of this intersection part you can see the volume of this intersection 170 yes, visible yes visible it's i think this text menu and the volume menu volume function is great for me <laughs> as a math teacher it's very helpful it's great uh, so this is the first practice example we I prepared. Uh, as a designer, it looked a little bit, it looked very easy, but for teachers or students, it's a innovation tool, innovation methods to visualize uh, uh, math, math information. So I love the graphy. Um, and you can find the specific ways uh, how can how I made this uh, intersection of two cylinders in my script. Here, you sh I shared. Okay, just fully okay. Um, and next practice is for hypercube. You know the hypercube, so you can uh, search hypercube. Hypercube. You googling this hypercube, you will find uh, lots of images. This is a hypercube. It means four dimension, fourth dimension. So we will make this hypercube with big P. Many students uh, wonder what's the fourth dimension how can we see the fourth dimension and many students ask me how we how can we find the fourth dimension would you draw then i will i use this bigraphy so let's back to bigraphy and um, editor um I will make a uh, new model. Uh, name hypercube. 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 Trait. Um, hypercube means um, I wrote down about hypercube to on my teaching plan. I shared this one with you. Uh, it's a parametric. This is a hypercube. Yeah. Point. Uh, 
Do, do, June, are you doing anything? Because I can see. Oh, an empty canvas. oh sorry, 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 no. sorry. You can probably this, share your screen. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, Google Meet is unfamiliar with me. So, sorry, but this is my stream uh, plan. And I wrote down about hypercube. And a point means dimension zero. If one move this point one unit length, it can be a uh, dimension one. And if one moves this line, line, if you move this line, then segment length it it can be the two dimension and if you move the, the surface to this exit it can be the third dimension then how about fourth <laughs> because we are live in a third third dimension we can't see the fourth dimension then how can we um draw this fourth dimension it's easy it's easy we need uh, another axis a uh, imaginary axis so let's make a four dimension back to big graphy at first we need um cube so you can make a cube with a two menu in the two menu you can find this solid in the solid you can find the cube but i will draw with a point and surface and then it would be the third dimension cube so we need a uh, four point zero comma zero comma zero zero comma one comma zero zero comma one comma zero and one comma one comma zero <laughs> so we need a four point it would be uh, point A, point B, point C, point D. So double click and we need point. Construct point, you can see the construct point. Click. Then you can see this 0, 0, 0 point. I will change the name of this point to mm, point A. Point A. Just click the upper part of the this node block, and you can change the name. It's easy. And then command C and command V or Control C and Control V. I will change the name to Point B. And it should be one comma zero comma zero. So I will change the x component to one. Then you can see two points: one comma zero comma zero comma zero and one comma zero comma zero. And then we need a point C. Point C. Change the name. And it should be what uh zero comma one comma zero okay zero comma one comma zero no one comma one comma zero is better. And then 
point D, command C and command V, or counter, counter C and control V, and change the name to point D. And it should be 0, comma, 1, comma, 0. So we have four points. And how can we make this four points to surface? I mean, to dimension? Um, you can click the tool. And in the surface menu, you can find the surface four points. I click. And you can connect this point A, point B, point C, point D, to point one, point two, point three, point D. Then you can find, you make the surface is two dimension, second dimension. And how about third dimension? We have to move this two dimension surface to Z along the Z axis. So we call um, extrude. It's extrude. Extrude the surface. You can, you find the extrude the surface and connect this, this surface to surface and this um, segment length of this segment is one but the de default of vector is 10 so I change the C to one the here is the uh, cube is third dimension you will find we find third dimension and then how about the fourth dimension we need another axis not x not y not z we need another um so we need uh, another vector. So um, I will. I need a new vector as a new axis. I will make a new vector with. So. I mean, you can click the tool menu and in the vector, you can find these two vector by two points. Let's back to our first four points. I will connect this uh, point A and point another center of this box. I, I want the center of this box, so double click and box property. Uh, you can see you can see the box property. Click. Uh, if you connect this is to the surface you will you can find box properties and you can find the point this centroid point so i will connect this point a to this center point it will be the new axis w axis so connect point two this point and I need a point A. And I will hide this box properties 
can extrude the surface if you don't need any uh, comp any output if you don't need just hide uh, then you can see this new axis it would be the new axis again show and I will um, move this uh, box to along the new axis. So we need a move. I will move this cube along the new axis. I will change the name. This would be the new axis, W axis. Okay. Then I need a move because we will move this cube along the W axis. It's a fourth dimension. So move, right hand, move this. Um, I will move this extrude surface along the new axis about about um, the length of zero point five or one. So I I'd like to change the Vector length. So if you click the vector menu, tool menu, and find in the vector, you can find the amplitude amplitude vector. So I will change the vector length to zero point. Seven. So move, move this cube with the length of zero point seven. You will, you can see the two box, two cube. They, this, uh, this cube, move along the new axis to this. It's a fourth dimension. Then how can we make this uh, hypercube? Uh, I need, you have to uh, connect this point to this point because this point moves to this point. This point moves to this point. This move point moves to, move to this point. So, uh, we will connect the point to point. It's a, uh, it can be this can be the hypercube. So I need a point of this cube. It's a box. You can find the box corners in the solid menu. You can find the box corners or write down the box corners. And I will, if you connect this, move the geometry to solid, you can find these eight points in the new dimension. So I will hide this move and another box corners I need so mm, command C and command V and I will connect the first Q to this solid then I can find the um, eight points of 
the first queue of first queue. So I will hide other things. I will hide the vector, hide, amplitude vector, hide. And you can find eight and eight, and 16 points. So I will change the name of box corners to point W. It should be the W um, axis. Point X. Point. And this one is the previous points. So I just write down points. And then I will connect this point A to point B. Then it makes a segment of new dimension. So I need a line, components, a node block. Um, in a line, we need two points, point A and connect this point A. Then you can see the first segment of a hypercube. And then center C and counter V and point B to point B. You can connect this point B and point B makes a line second line B. Line I will change the name line A, line one, line two, <laughs> and then and so on. So, Ctrl C and Ctrl E, point C to point C, with a line, it should be line three, and then line four, point D and point D. Okay. Now line five, should point E and point E. And then line six, point F and point F. And line seven, point G. And point C, the last one, line A, point H to point H. Wow, there are lots of lines, but we need, oh, I think there's something wrong with my point. The, the, the last one you didn't. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. Good. Oh, but it looks oh weird because oh we need um other segments. Oh, sorry. Mm, edit. So we need a segment of these boxes. So it's to the surface and move the cube. There are two cubes. If you have lots of node blocks, then if they have the same function, you can drag uh, some node blocks and if you write down the command G, you can unite to one group and you can change the name of the group uh, to our right down the queue. Just drag and command C or uh, just drag and command G group. It, it means group. 
Uh, I need a segment, so it should be the edges. So I need solid edges. You can see solid edges in the on the solid menu here. Solid edges. Uh, so if you connect this solid edge and shift, uh, press the shift and drag together. Solid edge. So good. It's, we are done. Uh, then this solid edge. I will have this. These are, should be one group. So, drag and command G, name of hypercube. Then I think we don't need the these points anymore. So I will hide these points. Hide, right, and. Oh, the first one, which is height point A, point B, point C, point D. Good. It's mm -hmm. height, it's, it's a you, hyper you, you know that you can select multiple nodes and hide them all together? Ah, I know. OK. Uh, and but you mean drag and hide. Yeah. Show and drag, hide. Good. And surface, hide. And then I'd like to um, rotate this hypercube like the image. So I need a um, rotation and rotation function. But look at these all segments. There are so many lines. One, two, three, four, five. There are so many uh, node blocks. So we can make all together just one block. It's a uh, Relay, right, Sony? Uh, I, I, are you, you want to make a all together a, to a cluster, or I, I'm not sure cluster? which, or what do you but want? I connect all wires all together. The, yes, all okay. the wires together with the relay. This tool, you see a relay, relay, okay. all really? uh, yep. together. Or together, you like can this. also do merge. Ah, oh, I see merge list menu. You can see the same function. The list menu merge, 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 merge list merge. The same, <laughs> but I love this relay. Uh, connect and connect. Edges. Okay, good. So I will. Put you want to connect the, the last one to? Last one to. Oh, okay. Oh, good. And then I will rotate this uh, hypercube along the. Um, uh, along the axis or y-axis. So I need a uh, rotate rotate node block. This rotate node block. I will rotate this hypercube. The angle should be changed. So let's double click. I'd like to rotate zero to thirty. 
zero to thirty, zero to thirty uh, radian. So click the range input. Uh, I will change the name to rotation and angle. Angle. Mm. And the um, step should be zero point one. Good. Yeah. And should be the angle. We connect this number, this uh, range input to angle. And how about the center? And how about the vector? Mm. Center and vector. I think uh, center. I'd like to connect this the axis to. Wow. You, you may want to hide the, the lines yes, before. Yes, yes. So, I, do, I, I should hide the hypercube. And then, why? <laughs> Maybe at the bottom? Bottom? There's something not, not hidden? No, 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 I can't see in your screen. Oh. Is there anything not hidden? Oh, maybe when you connected it to this uh, relay. Ah, relay. Hi. Okay. I see. Then. If you. Change the angle. You can find the this hypercube is rotate to along the vector vector z and the center zero. But um, you can change the center and the vector. Uh, I would like to. Change the center and the vector. Mm. Vector should be uh, in the if you turn on the first four points, I will make a new vector with this point B and point. B. So I change it better by two points. Better by two points. And then connect this point B and point D. And you can find the new vector. And then you will rotate along this vector and also you can change the center um i'd like to use the center of the box center of the box box property okay here and then You can find the another rotation much better. Yeah. This and <laughs> I made uh, this hypercube. Uh, actually, at first, when I was young, 
a, a student, I wonder what is the hypercube and or what is the fourth dimension? But at then, I couldn't know about this fact. But with uh, this graphy, I will connect one point to one point and make the lines and make the with the line with this segment i can make the hypercube and i can uh, rotate the this hypercube uh, so many students can to know what is the fourth dimension and what is the hypercube uh, i'm sure for many students this um, practice would be very, very uh, helpful for understanding the uh, dimension, especially fourth dimension. So I love this practice. When it's I Googled, not, sorry Google? for interrupting, like when I Googled the hypercube, mm -hmm. there was mm -hmm. this animation when one cube was like growing mm -hmm. out of the other. So yeah, like... this one. This is the uh, it, it looks I... like that. <laughs> yeah, so. If you rotate the hypercube, you can see uh, the Oh, you're explain one cube to another cube. It, uh, I think, is a illusion. It, it, it's a kind of illusion. It's okay. Can I share my screen for a second? Yeah. <laughs> uh... Like uh, I was talking okay. You can share about this. Can you yes. see my screen? Yep. Yes. Like is this what you, you were modeling right That's now? It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Okay. Because of I don't know. Maybe you shadows. do not have trans transparent surfaces over there, and that's why I mean it, it's just line in the canvas of B graphy. Uh, yeah, yeah, like maybe if we had pipes. So if we add line. some layer or surface, then probably it will be easy to visualize. But yeah, mm. I mean this is the geometry. It looks like the, uh, some amazing uh, animation, but just the way it looks it's uh, okay. because okay. yes it's a this, kind of illusion this reminded me of the marvel movie avengers movie, uh, <laughs> <laughs> where they have tesseract to time travel mm -hmm. and then, i haven't seen it <laughs> anyway okay. for Thank me you, it's the <laughs> it's the hard work because of my english what just one problem uh if i have a chance to chance i can speak in korean i next can be all more better korean. <laughs> <laughs> so before your next workshop we all learn <laughs> korean and you do it yeah korean. all right you're you're doing great yeah so we can take a break of five minutes. I mean, if anyone has any question about it, uh, yeah. feel free to ask. Uh, last, do we have a talk? Because we have al spent already 90 minutes. Um, I, I know it's quite late in Korea. Mm. Uh, so as long as you don't fall asleep mm. over there. I think we have. Uh, we, we are, anyways, recording this. The recording mm -hmm. will be public, but the, mm -hmm. I hope everyone can stay with us until we finish. Mm -hmm.
So I suggest that we move on. How much time do you think it will take for us to finish? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I will do in 20 minutes. How about 20 minutes? Okay. I can do in 20 minutes. So let's have a break of five minutes and then we will make a, a parametric equation. With a parametric equation, we can we will make a curing. Regarding the cylinder, like just uh, mm -hmm. unless someone mm -hmm. has any questions, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. you can put them in the chat box. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand if you want to do it verbally. We uh, turn on your mic. Uh, but I, I was just wanted to share uh, my thoughts, like the cylinder. In fact, when it's visualized, it, it's definitely easier to understand. Like mm -hmm. if someone asked me what the intersection of two cylinders look like, mm. like I, I probably wouldn't instantly respond it would give me uh, yeah. take me time to think like mm. that it looks the way you showed mm -hmm. i often use the graphy in my class math class some students uh, ask me th this kind of question what how can we cut the box with this anchor how what it looks like then i will <laughs> make a, a intersection and with a big graphic or design tool and they will like and they can understand what it means <laughs> it's great i can assume it takes time to create a parametric like in some cases, mm -hmm. maybe easier to mm -hmm. use a direct modeling tool, unless you need mm -hmm. this parametricity, like take mm -hmm. a cube and cut it using mm -hmm. some direct modeling. Yeah. Hard it? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was just saying that I, I, I understand that it may take longer, like unless mm -hmm. you need parametric parametricity, it may take mm -hmm. longer to create all these node blocks Maybe mm -hmm. just easier to create a cube using direct modeling mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. cut using a plane. Oh, yes, but for the students, um, uh, I think it's a better way to make a. Uh, if process. I made a. Yeah, uh, point can be a line and the line can be a, a surface mm -hmm. and the surface can make a 3d <laughs> so, so, um, so the basically if they follow the logic of the algorithm yeah. they understand better okay yeah i got it so i i i so i choose this way in my class um so shall we move on one question yeah. i have from you uh how yeah. easy it is to you know i mean create model on b graphy and then print it and i mean using oh. the 3d printer oh pardon b like graphy and, mm -hmm. you create model on b graphy and mm -hmm. then you yeah. shown some cases where you have printed it 3d printed yeah so how yes. easy it is for you, like you know, I mean, to create from in B graphy, and then print mm -hmm. it, and then showcase it to students. Oh, uh, uh, most of my students uh, are make can you they can use three D printer mm -hmm. because of me, <laughs> uh, and oh. Uh, I think it's easy to change. Uh, oh, we great has a note block to change this um, output to 
S tier, mm -hmm. like this. Uh, um, if you if you want to print this um, hypercube, it's just a lot uh, segment. So I use the Revolver survey or pipe. The pipe would be better. Yeah. Then what? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> pipe. <laughs> pipe. Radius zero. Mm, something wrong happened. Should sound the radius. Do you think why the uh, all the segments not can't make this? Hmm. Yeah, it's strange, but strange. I think I think it's all about connection, like how the connection are happening. We'll have to investigate over mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, it's uh, because of the normals. Mm. Normal. Some, ah. some, some are inverted, I, I guess. Uh, no. uh, but then. Okay, anyway, if you want to change this uh, output to 3D printer data, you can use the exporter. It's the exporter menu, S tier, maybe. Uh -huh. And connect the surface to geometry. And if you uh, click, the configurator and let's jump to configurator here. Here. Um you can find you can find the download button. So just click then you can make this output to S tier and save your computer. And then you can uh, print this output to your 3D printer. It's easy. It's fantastic point of bigraphy because uh, most of um, uh, computational tools for math education like CoGebra or Desmos, they can't uh, do like this. They can't make this STR file. So it's great, I think. Uh, Jiyun, like after yeah? this, we would like to investigate why the pipes mm -hmm. didn't work. Maybe huh? you can oh, really? share. Uh -huh. uh, Rip Pumelo is suggesting that before doing the pipe, use join. Uh, maybe has a pipe. I think even in joining, uh, the case will be saved because of the normals. No more. Mm. Yeah, if it's normal. the normal. Yeah. Mm. Okay, if if you can mm. share it with my email, mm. we'll have a look after this workshop, of course. Uh, Not okay. to take the time from everyone. Uh, I think we can move on to the next. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. Oh. I'd like to show you how I use the parametry equation 
with big rapi. So I choose the I chose this making caring topic. So new water and caring and create. Mm -hmm. Big rapi has a fantastic function of for math education. If you click the input and you can find the math, math is question. And you can write down the math equation in this box and you will find the you can use the math expression or math equation in the big graphy. So there are math functions in the big graphy. So uh, I'd like this uh, make a keyring with this math expression and I mean the parametric equation. So we need a uh, guess points can be a line points can be a curve so we need lots of points so <laughs> i will use the sequence i will use this sequence um notebook there are list the sequence and the other one is list the sequence SEC. I love this SEC sequence better. Uh, list the sequence means start and count the number of points and the step distance. Um, so delete, I will use this list sequence SEC. Start ends and counts. Mm. We mostly use a sine or cosine. They use the radian angle. So I will start zero and two radian and the points should be uh, and this list make 500 points from 0 to 2 and we will use the radian and it means we need a pi so I write down the multiplication this list List uh, multiplicate by pi. Uh, you can write down the pi and you will see the pi. Connect pi to b. Then you can find this 500 0 pi to 2 pi points and then mm, i'd like to express mm, x axis should be cosine and i need one more uh, variable so if you click the x you can add the port it can be y Mm, so my equation is y multiply cosine x to the x component and the y components can be y sine multiplying by sign. So I 
connect um, this to X and this to X. Um, and the uh, Y is a uh, um, maybe three and this is five and then it means three multiplying by cosine x is x should be x components and the second one should can be a y component um why I, five i have a question yes if you're not connecting anything to Y, uh, so you, you ah. said it, you, why don't you use three multiplied by cosine X and three multiplied by sine X? Mm. Why? Yeah, yeah, I'm um. curious. Is there a, just because it's mm. like, do you plan to connect some variable uh, like number? slider i i i just i just like i like three and five so if you want to change the um y and y cosine x and y sine x the y component so you can use the range input zero to five and the steps should be very small, just small. One point zero point one. Should always change the name. Why? Why? X. And then uh, another one. Should be Y. Y. And then connect this. And then, if you uh, move the slide box, you can change the number of multiplying sign by y. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, I will make a uh, point, many points. <laughs> so construct the point. Um, Construct the point. Construct point. This should be x. Wow, so many x points. And this equation should can be y. Um, I thought about this uh, ellipse, so I multiply by the number <laughs> and the number. And uh, you can find this uh, ellipse with parametric equation. This is an ellipse by, made by parametric equation. Mm. And so then... This, this is like magic. Just, what, what if you change uh, the, those parameters? Uh, it's what like it's gonna, this. Oh, so it's you, narrower. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because... It's a ellipse. ellipse. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, and then if you zoom in the point, it's just a point, not curve. So I will make this point to curve. This is a uh, interpolate in the light this not block makes can make a point to curve so if it connect this point to point one and degree it's the degree of curve so I change to one and blin if you check the blin you can make the curve to close or open I will close so I check this and then 
our height is so many <laughs> points height and you can see this line this curve so students can understand how can make the how can make the curve uh, we need as lots of points and points meet points and points can make the uh, curve it's good and then i we need a surface so uh i will revolve this uh ellipse so you can find the revolve revolve surface revolve surface um curve and anger what well, hmm, i think i sorry i mean hmm, interpolate i make a ellipse and i'd like to make this curve to surface so if i connect the curve to direction to the D angle oh, curve to make surface. Um, Uh, I, 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 you want to make a surface or what, what do you or you want I to want make to like rotate. a donut i i want to yes donut so i'd like i want to revolve this curve uh yeah you need to revolve it's just the the mm. the ro the center of rotation needs to be said i if i change the direction i can i'm sure i can make this donut it means uh before direction that and, and the angle we, yes uh we have a curve of ellipse and with this revolve surface not block we can uh, rotate and revolve this curve so connect this curve to profile and but you need to yes then also define the center of rotation center. Like the origin mm -hmm. uh origin zero it's okay then Oh, uh, I need uh, angle. Mm. Angle mm. zero to two range input. Oh. Click refresh. Okay. Yeah. Range. Refresh the, the tab. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. If you have, if you were encounter something wrong, refresh is the answer. Yes, and 
range input to change step point zero and we need this angle should be radian so i need a multiplication and pi And then connect the angle. Looks like a little bit different. So um, I think something wrong happened. What if you put the center of rotation outside? The, the, uh, the really? ah okay then okay much better but center should be flat okay and the angle more angle i need more and four okay we make a donut with um uh, with a point so many points make a x component and then i construct many points then interpolate them to a curve and then i revolve the this curve to some angles and make the 3d for you donuts so uh you can make this donut to if you want to make this donut to your hearing you need a ring uh, core so uh in this time i will use the porous donut so if you the, the tool menu you in a solid menu you can find the torus it should be it can be the uh, whole of this hearing so origin is and the radius it should be small pipe radius height and then oh, spread this height and I think uh, I should rotate this uh, ring so I need rotate component, rotate this geometry to angle vector Z center zero. Uh, I need And Z should be zero. And hide the first one. And I will move this ring to donuts we make. So I need a move node block. Move geometry 
Um, vector we need a range because I don't know how much I should move these components and vector oh, should be point construct point to x and what you need to use oh. a vector node Vector. vector instead of construct point use a vector uh -huh. node oh uh, really and then okay vector yeah S. okay okay and um, like this so i will hide the first one and turn on the river I mean, wow, <laughs> looks like weird. <laughs> and then, um, I think I should move this. Um, uh, I don't. I think I don't need to rotate. So, torus. No. Oh, uh, rotate. Hmm. More. More, more. I think more. What are you trying to achieve? Oh. Uh, I'd like, I want to make this uh, torus as a keyring ring, the horn. <laughs> Too hard. Uh, I will move this ring, this torus to move. I need the vector. Notice uh, opposite. It can change the direction. But I think I should rotate. Uh, angle. Pi and two, one pi. Choose learning. Yeah, Why uh, my re ring? Oh, uh, it's not, I think my ring is Where ring. does it need to be? Like, can you show pointed mm -hmm. with a mouse? Mm -hmm. Is the center is the problem? Rotate uh, vector. Uh, like, where does the ring need to be? Outside the this torus? Yes, this point. It should move to this and have to rotate uh. to then uh, it's, with the same direction it's with, instead of well you you're moving it into vector x mm -hmm. direction use mm -hmm. a different vector uh like vector y, y. vector y vector y where is it maybe <laughs> this kind of negative i think it's inside ah okay Mm -hmm. I can't see. Uh, 
hide the torus I, above hide the torus above yeah refresh no, no hide the ro hide. rotate surface yeah uh no no the one above the, the torus torus the per the the pink you have revolve surface on top right center yes hide it hide what here uh, that we see yeah and hide the uh, mm. and rotate okay okay so now move more outside more more outside okay yeah. more 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 outside I you need might need, more. You might need to increase the reach. Yeah. 30. More. More. <laughs> 50. More. <laughs> no, I think so. Uh, Why? Why can't this, I can't see this torus? Where is my torus? Oh, wow. it's the fire. <laughs> so I have to keep it around 12 of 13. Yeah. Hard to make. Okay. There. Down, down. Down. Good. <laughs> it's okay. Good. Better. I will uh, finish this torus uh, carrying. <laughs> and I think we should uh, make this torus carrying the uh, to STR file. So let's bring this STR exporter and connect this surface and connect this geometry together then you can download or in the you can download in the configurator screen you can oh, I will change the screen to Okay, then you can click download and you can ch change the range input. It's torus movement, move, movement of torus. And you can change this range, this component and this component. Well, you, and then click the download and save your own STR file then you can print this uh torus hearing to your uh, 3d printer that's it oh, it's a hard work for me thank you june okay ah well i think for a teacher of mathematics <laughs> it's, it's quite good. Too hard. But, yeah, uh, not not sure mm. about the skill of the people that were following this. Mm. Uh, I hope it wasn't too difficult to follow. Uh, you think maybe, so? Maybe for some people, like I can see that some people here, they mm -hmm. know computational design quite well. So maybe mm -hmm. it was simple for mm -hmm. some of you. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone learned something. So I hope if you, is there anybody who are interested in making this kind of math content? Uh, I'd like to study together. So, uh, 
in the script I shared with you, you can find my email address. So if you are, is there, if there anybody who are interested in making math contents with design tools, please contact me. We can study together. Thank you. Thank and, you, June. What, and, what time is it over there? Uh, 11 p.m. <laughs> 11 p.m. Okay. And, and based on what I see, you are still in the school, right? It's not your home. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm very thank you to Bigrapi because you uh, you can you give me uh, this uh, awesome experience. It's very uh, good experience for me. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to thank my, thank to you. <laughs> thank you, thank June. You. Yeah. I, I know it's challenging for mm. you to to speak. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, explain yourself in English. Uh, I, in, in the countries I've mm. lived, mm. quite very few mathematicians can can speak English at your level. So you did quite well. I think I, I thought my English is good, but when I was reading the the, mm. the problem that you shared on the screen, mm. it was quite difficult for me to even understand. Like without mm. the visualization part, I probably couldn't understand what what was re what is expected in the mm. problem. So thank you again. Mm. Uh, thank yeah. you everyone who joined. In uh -huh. case. There are any questions you can ask them in the chat box. Mm -hmm. And so far, I don't see any. So I hope that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone, everybody is not shy, and everyone understood everything. Mm -hmm. uh, then I wish you, June, good night. Yeah. And see you all in our next workshop. There is a calendar mm -hmm. that we created. Uh, so there mm -hmm. will be workshops by, the rest will be by computational designers. So maybe mm -hmm. this, uh, the, the prerequisite would be different. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. We have uh, next workshop for all our participants. We just wanted to let them know. Mm -hmm. So the next workshop is on 28th, like next mm -hmm. week, uh, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And it will be hosted by Christopher Bullen. And mm -hmm. uh, subsequently, in the coming weeks, we will have a few more workshops by coding team, which we have already hosted, Leonardo, Lauren, Gedi Minas. And uh, the schedule has been shared to you over email in the coming mm -hmm. weeks. We will be sharing more detail what the content of these workshop will be. And uh, other information related to the Bigraphy Design Award from the competition. Right. So stay tuned and follow our email newsletter for updates. And join the Discord channel as well for any question or update. We will be happy to answer them for you. OK. Thanks for the announcement. Thank you. Thank Goodbye, you. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.